Expedition, Doug Irvine, Bull River is in. Jordy Fike and Shawnee, Troy Flad and Spalumbo's and Roger Moore with OK Tire. We're OK for Heat 1. Quiet on the set. There's a horde and Saturday Night Live casts their fate to the figure eight and it's a quick turn right across the board and there goes Roger Moore and Troy Flatt alongside of Jordy Fike and Doug Irvine to the outside. Barrels are up, one outrider leaving town and we've got us a wagon race into that first turn on a mission to get to that finish line before anybody else. We find up on the front end the charging thoroughbred team of Jordy Fike and Shawnee excavating but right to his left elbow now is that big wheel team of Troy Flad and the Spalumbo's Fine Foods and Deli. Now those guys are going to duel it out rain to rain and here's what's trending into that third turn. Jordy Fike with Troy Flad on the inside of him. Now the backfield's in motion. Doug Irvine's got the overland route with Bull River paving around the outside and Roger Moore, okay tire of Meadow Lake, just kind of coasting in biding his time as they round that fourth and final turn. Their mission is what we call the Tree Line Well Services Finish Line as they set them up for the home stretch, Hub International home stretch drive. The louder you cheer, the quicker they'll get here. Here comes Jordy Fike up the middle of the track. Can he outrun Troy Flad to the wire? Jordy Fike wins it by a horse length. Troy Flad's got company coming on the inside. Troy, there's Roger Moore blasting into the infield just ahead of Doug Irvine and the Bull River paving operation. There's the horn and the charge is underway and it's a quick start right away. Chance Thompson and Kirk Sutherland to the far side. That pesky great nephew of his, Tuff Drager and Reinhardt Oilfield get out there to make a three wagon race into the turn with Troy Dorchester leaving town on a mission. Catch the leaders and right now the leader coming into that second turn is Kirk Sutherland and KLS Earthworks. He's got that gray lead team I was talking about. Right at his right elbow and that right hand gray leader's looking right in Kirk's eye and say, see you, buddy. We're going to crank her open a notch on the back stretch. Chance Thompson has him tight to the rail. Kirk is not giving up easy. He's made about a 1,000 trips around this racetrack in his career, and he's looking back at Chance Thompson, and Chance over his right shoulder sees Tuff Drager and Reinhardt Oilfield closing ground as they round the turns. Troy Dorchester, Pure Chem Services, about to throw the lines at him, and that's how they round the turn of the Battle of the Foothills track, and it's Captain Kirk beam me up Scotty had enough of this party he's headed for the home stretch drive oh high river it's your turn to come alive Kirk Sutherland up the middle Chance Thompson alongside that gray horse is getting his wish but it's too little too late Kirk Sutherland by a nose over Chance Thompson and it's tough Drager just ahead of Troy Dorchester as they roll in for heat number two there's a horn in there off the quick start for Evan McGee and Farm Boy Landscaping and Maintenance as he rounds the number two Fortis Alberta barrel to see Dustin Gorst, Century Downs, southbound and out of town. The rail grabber is Cody Ridsdale and the O'Chiefs Business Center with Lane Flad and Signature Smiles smiling all the way to the bank, but he's going to have to pass some top guns. And it's Evan McGee, Farm Boy Landscaping and Maintenance. He's doing a little landscaping of his own as he rounds that second turn and here's what's trending in the backstretch drive Evan McGee opens up the gap to a length and three quarters now here comes Cody Ridgedale O'Chiefs Business and Investment Center look at him close ground on Evan McGee Stovrak to his right elbow he signs Dustin Gorst and Century Downs and he's headed downtown in a hurry now what are we going to do Cody go left or right Evan McGee might give him a hole when he rounds the turn and that's what he's hoping for he's going to thread the needle between Evan McGee and Dustin Gorst in the trailer lane flad with signature smiles still smiling as he rounds that turn and they set him up for the Hub International home stretch drive. Here comes Evan McGee and Farm Boy, landscaping and maintenance. He's got this one handled. Cody Ridgedale has got company a coming. It is Lane Flat on the inside and Dustin Gorse to the backside. The horn.
horn sounds and the charge is underway. Low chance flat and the Polar Express is cool tonight. He gets out of there in a hurry, but he's got company on the inside. Preston Faithful's de Havilland Aircraft spreads his wings, lifts the landing gear to challenge chance flat and the Polar Express of Aspen crossing. And then to the outside of him, Todd Baptiste and Josh Herenick turning up the heat, but this race on the front end is a hot one. Preston Faithful has now taken a horse length lead with Chance Flad trailing alongside with Aspen Crossing's Polar Express. And now he's looking back for his red-shirted outriders. They're in great shape. They got to get around Todd Baptiste and Sor Oilfield. And in behind Todd, but hanging tight to that rail, you find Josh Herenick and Carmen's Big Way Foods. It's getting tight in that third turn. Everybody's going to thread the needle. Chance Flad's got company. The shirts, elbows are melting off his shirts from the hot breath of two sets of lead teams on either side of him. And now Chance Flad will challenge him. And here we go. We got company coming down the home stretch drive. High River, it's your turn to come alive. Preston Faithful, the Havilland Aircraft of Canada, hits that tree line. Well, services finish line right about now. And he's a length and a quarter. Josh Herenick squeaked in a nose ahead of Chance Flad and the Polar Express. There's the horn, and they're off. A quick start for everybody as outriders load up and mount up. Left turn, DJ. We got us a wagon race as DJ King scoots out alongside of Dean Drager and Regulators Oil Field, and he's the sandwich between Chance Bensmiller and DJ King and Dean Drager back of the pack, and that's how we roll through the game in a well-driven heat number two so far. Barrels are up. Outriders looking good, and it's Dean Drager, Regulators Oil Field now, that is emerged to be challenged. He's headed down that backstretch and DJ King Metrican Builders, rain to rain like a runaway freight train. They're going at it hard in that backstretch. And then you go to Chance Bensmiller and Bear Excavating, growling into that third turn, trying to claw his way to the front end when he go way back to Canyon Rigging. And Mitch Sutherland, who had a shaky start and he is rocking and rolling, but he not going to catch anybody but the Outriders. Here comes DJ King. Metrican Builders setting up for the home stretch drive. Battle of the foothills. It's your turn to come alive. They're not going to catch the big hockey player tonight. Metrican and DJ. Here comes Dean to put the pressure on. Dean Drager closing ground, but at the tree line, well services finish line, it's DJ King, Dean Drager, and then the big bear. Chance Bensmiller rips in ahead of Mitch Sutherland and Canyon Rigging. Heat number six. Quiet on the set. The horn sounds and the charge is a quick one. Dayton Sutherland and Truman Holmes from three to Haviland's Evan Salmond off the number one barrel and he is out of here. Uh, hold the screen door open, Grandma. We're getting out of town and Evan Salmond looks over at Dayton Sutherland. Come on, kid. Put the pressure on and Truman Holmes answers the call as the diamond Dayton Sutherland comes alongside of Evan Salmond and Haviland Engineering and then you go back at three-quarter length and you find Darcy Flad and the Rimrock Feeders. Darcy He's going flat out around that second turn. And Ross Knight, John Barlow, MP here in Foothills, he is closing ground with every stride. And the GMC Outriders in hot pursuit looking good. What a fine bunch of thoroughbreds we got back there. Now here comes Evan Salmon. De Havilland Engineering. He's gearing up in that third turn. He's got the rail, but he knows he's got Dayton Sutherland on the outside. He knows he's got Darcy Flad right on his stove rack, and it's no time to enjoy the success of the fourth corner because we are southbound and down, headed for the tree line, well services finish line with Evan Salmon. Clear the runway, touchdown. Runway number one is Evan Salmon to Haviland Engineering, and here comes Dayton Sutherland. Truman Holmes, can he get second? He takes it away from uh, Darcy Flad and Rimrock Feeders. John Barlow MP rolls in with Ross Knight on the lines. And heat number six, seven. Quiet on the set, please. There's the horn, and they're off. A quick start for Wade Salmon to Haviland Manufacturing as he's building speed, and there goes the Hoadley Hornet stinging them early. The Mike Crawford Agency Group gets out there. Look who's got the rail. That's Kurt Bensmiller, the Duke of Dewberry. He scooted ahead of his nephew, and he is putting the pressure on Cruz Bensmiller, and he is on the rail right inside of Aubrey Mata Willow and Crawford Insurance Group. Now look at this team. Look at these two 
two top guns, both world champions, challenging each other down that backstretch. Aubrey Montewillow and the cooperators ahead by a horse length. And here comes the Duke of Dewberry. Are you ready for another thriller from Ben's Miller? You're about to find out as they go wheel to wheel, banging a little steel, and the spoke dance begins into that third turn. Then you go back to Wade Salmon to Haviland Manufacturing. Cruz Ben's Miller, KMC Sales and Apparel back in the backside, and here they come. Two world champions, the Hoadley Hornet and the Duke of Dewberry, dueling it out for supremacy at the tree line. Well services finish line, and here comes Aubrey Mottawillow to the inside, outside, front side. Aubrey Mottawillow, a neck ahead of Kurt Benzmiller and AIC Construction. De Havilland rolls in with Wade Salmon. And more night, heat eight, don't be late. The horn sounds and the top guns have fired as their outriders get their job done. Jason Glass and Birch Cliff Energy can look over to see Chris Molly and Vertex Building Systems leaving town. Chance Vegan to the outside. Jamie Labakin in the middle of the pack. And now the horse race begins. You have got 16 of the fastest thoroughbreds in the world today hooked to a chuck wagon. And that will feature the speed of Chris Molly and Vertex Building, the speed of the checkerboard. Jason Glass, Birch Clef Energy, the winning Calgary Stampede outfit, Chance Vegan, Volker Stevan, Glover International got the overland route, little heavy running out there, and then Jamie Labacane's watching with interest from the backside with Wild Rose pumps and compressions, GMC Outriders gearing up for a great finish and look at this finish on the front end Chris Molly, Vertex Building Systems tight to that rail, he knows he's going to have to play some checkers because here comes Jason Glass and Birch Cliff Energy here comes Chance Vegan Volker Steven from the outside southbound and down, headed to the wire with their wheels on fire here they come, Jason Glass up the middle, Chance Vegan from the outside, Chris Molly can he hang on, it's going to be, oh my goodness, Chris Molly, Jason Glass, Chance Vegan, too close to call. Jamie Labacane rolls in. If you liked it, it's amazing. Let them know it. Wow. Your heat nine is in line. Quiet on the set. There's the horn, and the top guns in the world standings cast their fate to the figure eight, and there goes Ray Crotto and Chad Fike, Lightning Luke stalls, and then Lane McGilvery to the outside, and look at Tom Cole group of companies. Chad Fike opens them up early, barrels are up, outriders are out of town, and we are picking up the running, and Chad Fike has got Tomco.ca right to the outside of the Rainbow Rider, Ray Crotto Jr., and Cinch Oil Field hauling and cranes, Extend the crane ray. You got to reach out in front of Chad Fike. And Chad Fike and Tumgo are pounding down the middle of that backstretch, middle of the track. Here comes the lightning. Luke Turnier. Padernis, he's got a horse length lead over top of Lane McGilvery and McLean railings as they fly around that outside rail with our GMC Outriders all bunched up and now the rainbow, there's a pot of gold at the finish line for the rainbow rider as Ray Crotto and Cinch Oil Field hauling and cranes eases on ahead a half a length of Chad Fike and Tomko, here comes Lightning Luke and Padernis, this is a home stretch drive, you might want to come alive here comes the rainbow, Ray Crotto Jr., Cinch Oil Field hauling the uncatchable Rainbow Rider gets there by a wagon like, oh, look at Lightning Luke. Look out, Ray. You got company coming. What a finish with Tom Coast, Chad Fike, and Lane McGilvery right in there. My goodness, Luke, you need two-mile track. That guy's out of town. Whoa, if you liked heat number nine, I want to hear from you. That was awesome. <laughs>